something double digit value. <laughs> This is the 2018 Ford Mustang, a restyled, tweaked, and up-contented version of the pony car we've been enjoying since it ditched its stick axle back in 2014. As far as mid-cycle refreshes go, this one wins on some tangible aspects, but the subjective aspects are, well, subjective. And the V6 is kaput. It's not a huge surprise, but more on the red later. Let's start with the new front-end styling by way of comparing it to the old car. The 2015 Ford Mustang was a polarizing design, although most of the criticism was about it being derivative rather than unattractive. It was a handsome beast, aggressive and yet classy. You might even say that the focus was at the time to make a product that would appeal to a global audience. Ford succeeded, and as Ford likes to loudly boast, the Mustang is the top-selling sports car worldwide. It seems like the main design brief for the 18 Mustang. A biased eye well steeped in the 15 Mustang styling controversy is to banish the internet troll cry of Fusion Coupe once and for all. The nose drops precipitously, without a measuring tape and with a bad theoretical ruler I'd say a couple of inches. Ford showed us a presentation with a split-in-half render, the new and old car side by side. The old car's nose looks terribly blocky and tall by comparison. In profile, it's definitely an improvement, 